Hello everyone and welcome to another what's for dinner on WW or Weight Watchers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what we had for dinner this week on WW as well as showing you what my personal points are for all these meals. As always, I will have all the information as far as ingredients, instructions, and links to my recipe builder, where if you are a WW member, you can click on that link and see what the points are for these meals for you. If I have done a previous video on one of these meals before, I will have a link to its full video where you can find all of that information down in its description box as well. Regardless, all the information that you're gonna need is gonna be down in the description box of this video. Just click on the show more below the video. But let's get the video started and see what we had for dinner this week. First up is sheet pan Hawaiian pizza. We love Hawaiian pizza in this house. I know a lot of people hate pineapple on their pizza. We love it. Well, my son doesn't actually, but my husband and I love it. And my son just picks it off of his side. But anyway, let me know if you guys like pineapple on your pizza. I know that's kind of one of those people love it or hate it. And like I said, my husband and I love it. So this one starts with a two ingredient pizza dough. To make this dough, you take three quarter cup fat-free Greek yogurt and a cup of self-rising flour. And this time I'm adding a little bit of granulated garlic to it just for a little extra flavor. You're then gonna just stir it all together until a dough forms. Then you're gonna knead that dough on a floured surface. I typically knead my dough for about five minutes. That just makes it the easiest to work with. Sometimes if I try to cut corners and do a little less time than that, the dough doesn't work as well for me. This dough is different though every single time I make it but I definitely get the best results when I need for a full five minutes. So here I've got it done. Now I'm gonna roll it out into roughly the shape of my cookie sheet that I'm gonna be using. So I've got it done here. Now I'm gonna take my cookie sheet and I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of olive oil so that the dough doesn't stick to the sheet. You could just put some parchment down on this too. And then I'm gonna take my dough and I'm gonna put it on my cookie sheet and I'm gonna stretch it to fit the sheet. This dough stretches pretty easily. So you can kind of move it around to get it to fit whatever shape of pan you're using. So that's what I'm doing here. Once I've got my dough fit to my pan, I go ahead and spritz it with a little bit of olive oil and then I bake it at 425 for about five minutes. And that is just to get a little bit of a seal on the crust for when I'm putting my toppings on, which I'm doing here with some marinara sauce, it doesn't get as soggy. So I'm using a cup of my homemade marinara sauce for pizza sauce this time. We'll go ahead and link that recipe up above and down below if you haven't seen that. So I add that to the crust, spread it around evenly, and then I add a cup of part skim mozzarella and just spread that as evenly around the entire pizza as I can. And now I'm gonna add some Canadian bacon to the top. This is the stuff that I'm using right here that I get at Sam's Club. And then next up, I'm gonna add some fresh cut up pineapple. Now I went ahead and put that on a paper towel to kind of drain some of the juice of it off so it doesn't get the pizza too soggy. Next up, I'm adding a little dried oregano. And then on one side, I'm gonna add a little crushed red pepper for just a little extra kick. And then I'm gonna take this and bake this in my oven at 425 for about 15 minutes until it looks like this. And here is dinner tonight. I have got an eighth of that total pizza, which for me is four points. I'm also having a little bit of kale salad with this tonight. Now this is one of those salad kits. I got it at Sam's Club. I never use all the toppings and definitely not the salad dressing when I have these salads because the points are just way too high. I scanned this and I said it was six points for a third roughly of the bag. I'm using about a third of the salad mixture, but I'm using way less of the toppings and hardly any dressing. So I'm gonna just call that three points, which is probably not even three points, but we're gonna just call it three points. So that makes my salad three points my pizza four points for a dinner total of seven points. And that pizza was really good, by the way. I'm curious, do you guys like pineapple on your pizza or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Next up is spaghetti and cheesy breadsticks. Now this spaghetti recipe I have shown multiple times before. I love it. It is my mother-in-law's recipe, but this time I did make it a little bit different. This one starts with a large pot, and to that I'm gonna add a pound of lean ground turkey. 
And then to that, I'm gonna add a chopped red onion and some chopped yellow and red bell pepper. Typically I would add mushrooms, but this time I didn't have any, so I used the bell pepper instead and it was good. So then I add a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, mix all that together and cook it until that turkey is browned and those veggies are softened. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced garlic and let that cook in there for a minute or two or until it's fragrant. Then I'm gonna add some oregano, cumin, chili powder, basil, and a few packets of this Trevia sweetener. I'm then going to stir all that together, add in two cans of diced tomatoes, followed by three cans of tomato paste, and I take each one of these cans and fill it with water to get that remaining paste out of there, and add some extra liquid. Then I add in a can of olives, and I stir everything together. When I've got that well stirred together, I just let this simmer for at least an hour. Longer's better, but I would say let it simmer for at least an hour. And then when I'm done with that, I go ahead and boil up some whole wheat pasta, which I've got here, just to al dente. Normally my sauce would be done at this point, but this time I decided to add in some part skim or low fat ricotta to it. I had some extra that I needed to use up and I just thought that sounded good. So with the heat off at this point, I just stirred that in. Next I add in my pasta and I just mix that in. And what I am doing here is I'm just kind of chopping it up with my spatula to get those pieces a little smaller and easier to stir in because that is a lot of spaghetti there. So that just makes it a lot easier. And here it is done. Now this one makes a lot. It makes about 16 one cup servings. So it's a good one if you have a lot of people to feed or if you wanna do meal prep for like the week. Here is dinner and a serving of that, which again is a cup. And for me, that's four points. Now, if I hadn't added the ricotta to that, it would actually only be two. Then over here, I've got a serving of these cheesy Italian breadsticks. I just did a video on these. These are so delicious. I cannot tell you how good those are. Those are seven points for a serving of, of roughly that size, but they are delicious. I will have the video I did linked up above and down below if you haven't seen that. So seven points for the breadsticks and four points for the spaghetti is gonna give me a dinner total of 11 points, which is a little high. I'm having a whole lot of carbs tonight and I actually try not to do that. I try to not do too many carbs, but tonight I was kind of feeling it. So I did, and you'll also notice there's no veggie in there. So I was being not the best tonight, but it was delicious and I still managed to keep within my points. So I guess that was still a win. I also wanted to mention real quick that this does freeze really well. And most times when I make it, I do end up freezing about half of it for later just because it makes so much. And finally, we had smoked salmon and Italian pasta salad. Now I have shown both of these before several times, and I've also done full videos on both of these. So I didn't show making either of these in this video, but I will have links to both videos up above and down below if you haven't seen them and you wanna check them out. But I absolutely love the smoked salmon. It is so good. My husband does a really good job smoking it on the smoker. I could eat this every week, honestly. It's just delicious. The pasta salad is really good too. It's one that I like to make this time of year. It's kind of a summer salad, but the points on the salmon, it's roughly a point per ounce. I've got four ounces there. And then I've also got a serving of that pasta salad, which is about a cup and a half. And for me, that's seven points. So that's gonna make my dinner total for tonight's 11 points. And that was everything we had for dinner this week on WW. I hope as always, maybe this gave you guys some ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.